wholeness and balance vibrations family let me be the first to welcome you as a reflection of you i'm your brother curtis aru and this is the one tribe podcast home of the daily spectrum resonance where we share solutions relating to physical mental and spiritual well-being with sovereignty as our goal we discuss what works with adept guests tribe no theory just raw unapologetic truth because truth is nature and we honor her gifts so leave your esoteric shoes at the door and let's make soul connections with every step forward let's keep vibing in resonance at top speeds because the portal is now open wholeness all right, so fam, we're diving in right where we uh, where I remember it to um, for the recording and we're showing the electromagnetic spectrum and things we see and things we don't see. Where you at, fam? All right, so this is the freq- electromagnetic frequency spectrum. This is all that we're able to read as humans. All the instruments have picked up. We're not all. This is the you know, majority of... 99% of the waves that are found uh, in nature. So we got radio waves, you know, kind of self-explanatory rocks on that. Uh, microwaves, infrared, um, and the visual spectrum here that is the, you see the colors of the rainbow. This is as far as our eyes, two eyes can see. We can see this spectrum from red or magenta to, to indigo, violet, and purple over here. This is our color. This is our visual spectrum. This is what we can see. After that, on the other side of that is UV rays, X-rays, and gamma rays. And these all vibrate and oscillate at different speeds. And they all affect us differently. Some uh, affect us beautifully. You know, this uh, spectrum here and some of the UVs also, you know, aid us in in processing too. Not everybody. But uh, these waves are, they're pros and cons to them all. And let's move forward. Let's need to share the whole screen desktop and see if I can just pull it up like my hand. Get there for a minute. Put that down. Put that down. Right, champ. Yeah. All right. So another ID, uh, another uh, scope one. So the best electromagnetic spectrum. All these things they operate on that spectrum. But you can also when these spectrums start to cross over into different frequencies, again, it's just like when your organs go off, uh, one of them go off, it throws the rest off. So right here, we see that uh, ACDC radio, television, uh, cell phones, satellites, microwaves, sunlight, lights, x-rays, all these things operate on different frequencies. Even frequencies where you see that bacteria grows most uh, productively uh, in certain frequencies that some don't like they don't they can't exist in a uh, heavily UV space um, uh, Different molecules and atoms, you know, I can get too deep into it, but everything vibrates at a certain frequency and as you Understand how do we There you go Slide. And typically our house is full of these Frequencies is everywhere from our phones outside, inside, uh, by the bed, uh, from from the radio to the Wi-Fi router to things just plugged up in the wall. It's all giving up, giving off a frequency that is really not in harmony with our bodies. So, like my, my brother here holding um holding his phone phone next to his groin, like prolonged your time, like cell phones in your pocket, definitely um, negatively affects the groin and reproductive organs in that area heavily it's radiation poisoning continuously and if it always stays there it leads to prostate issues it leads to reproductive issues it leads to a number of things and we'll get into some of those uh those symptoms in a bit bluetooth headphones you see this is wireless this is also affecting him his neurolog- neuro- neurologically you know, for his brain this is affecting him slowly killing me softly with these vibes you know so keep it moving 2013. That's one of the earliest I've found this uh, pumping out. So 5G has been studied since 2013, before the new 5G came out. So they just launched one this year, a, a new, stronger, faster 5G network. And again, you can see them here. Um, for, you feel sick uh, with the 
blood colleges, uh, you feel sick, you got headaches here, migraines, numbingness, uh, nosebleeds, rashes, faints, um, ear buzzing. Uh, it's for brain, it's a hesitance, not as, uh, nausea, dizziness, anxiety, uh, tremors, fatigue, respiratory systems, bronchitis, asthma, um, uh, pressure between the eyes, um, heart, heart palpitations, palpitations. There's, there's so much effects affecting because it's affecting your neurology, neurology, and it's throwing off your body's natural frequency. Because now we're in it pretty much all day, every day now for the most people, and those who have it on the house. And we're talking a bit about that later. Um, yeah, mood. It, it affects your mood, your attitude. Um, yeah, it's so many things we don't get too much too far into it. No, because we can go through anything when we come back around with questions later. Um, but it, this radiation effects this is exactly what it is radiation effects that you see here, and it also has um, let's see, let's see what more it affects the bone marrow in your body, produces white blood cells. Uh, radiation can lead to leukemia and other immune system deficiencies. There has not been a time in, in human history where the body was has been bombarded with so many frequencies that thrown off your natural resonance, your regular heartbeat. That do, 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 do. Now it's competing with another low frequency. Because this is what um, this is exactly what the uh, 5G does: it oscillates between the low frequencies to the high frequencies. And so it gets more, more coverage and it goes to the high frequencies to get faster. So it oscillates between the two. It's a wave. It oscillates between the two and it it's targeted now. It's more like a beam. Let me keep it flowing. Uh, more like a, keep it flowing inside. So radiation poison. We were made aware of health complaints following installation of smart meters, and we wanted to verify this uh, using our field work. So I measured the field of about 30 different people while they stood one foot in front of the smart meter, and in every single case, the uh, human energy field was obliterated as they stood in front of the smart meter. So in our first slides, what we see is normal cells, and the structure of the cells is intact and sound. This is what we would expect from a normal sample. So after two minutes of exposure in front of the smart meter at about one foot away, we see a totally different story. Sample one, you can see a lot of degradation in the cells. The cell walls have been broken, and you see changes in the cells, which are called mycoplasma, that shows a mutation to the cell. In the second sample, we see a different type of degradation to the cell membranes. You can see a corrugation here. This is called bottle cap formation, and it's known that this occurs due to oxidation or uh, exposure to free radicals. So this third subject, uh, when we did her sample, she had to be pulled away from the meter after 45 seconds because she complained about an increasingly severe headache. And here you see a phenomenon called Rouleau, where the red blood cells are stacking up, which makes it very difficult for the blood to deliver oxygen to the tissues as they would be their normal function. Every single one of these is a degradation. Every single one of these shows a trauma to the blood mm -hmm. cells, and that came from something, and the only variable was the smoke. The good news in all this is the patient and the blood can return to normal once they have been removed from the influences of the stressors. So you can see the, the actual frequencies that we would line it up. Um, we'll do that later if we have time. You see that the, the frequencies right here that it runs on is directly um, combating your body's natural frequencies that we looked up earlier from the heart to the spleen to the lungs and this is why it's throwing them off and these are the same symptoms that we see for the covid vaccine fake covid fake covid.com <laughs> i got it right there these are the same symptoms so they're saying that it's this this variant disease and all this other stuff but it's actually 5g that is really carrying this um, this thing. You see how they, they kind of 
gave you a big uh, disease and that kind of windled it down, chopped down. So now it's just these symptoms, smallest, less. It's, you can barely detect it because it's right there sleeping right next to you, to you in the house. You're like, I haven't been around anybody. I haven't been talking to myself, but you have been around a whole building with 5G or maybe you try to use it faster in your house and turn it on and connect to the 5G. Um, just being mindful, we'll come back and keep it flowing. So other things that we want to get into this too. All right, we can do the video real quick. Where you at, where you at? There's a homie from the UK. From the UK, he's putting up um, cell phone towers. And actually, I'll let him tell it. Yeah. Look, I don't know the best way to do this, but I've been working erecting 5G masks on towers like the one behind me for the past few weeks while everybody else has been in lockdown. And we don't crack open these kits because we're explicitly asked not not to. But well, our best, perhaps the best thing is for me to show you. It's best if I just show you, look. It's a piece of fucking 5G kit and this has Cove 19 on it. I don't really know of any products produced by any company that produces circuitry like this that, that has the brand name Cov.19, but that's what it says on the fucking circuit board. It just repeats after that. But that the, he is highlighting that he, he's putting up these 5G chips and installing them into the towers. And they're not supposed to open, but he opened them anyway, natural human curiosity. And he sees that the chip or the, the microchip has Cov-19 on it. There's no brand of 5G microchip called COVID-19, but for whatever reason, and we know why now, it's labeled COVID-19 because it's actually, again, given those frequencies to give you these symptoms. So when you go get tested, now you're, te you're testing positive for um, uh, a direct uh, infection of uh, disharmonic frequencies, basically. And your body hasn't regulated itself, hasn't had, it hasn't, whatever, wherever the, the cause or the zone where the mass of that 5G um, radiation you're being exposed to is, that's most likely where you got it from. And we think that we're getting it from people, which is really, I say, if you're going into work and full of towers and full of electric lines, full of all these um, 5G capable devices or, or people's phones, a lot of people, you're directly saturated in it. And if you don't have a place to leave and escape and regulate your body or wear things, you know, that aids your body into uh, put that same field that our body produces, you can make it stronger. So it's more like a force field. And so if you, if you don't, we'll, we'll talk about those solutions as we go through, but you have to be aware that this is not um, a game in a way. And 5G just getting started. So you already know COVID, so, you know, this the boogeyman was going to be around for a minute. And anybody whose body is already subject to disease, already sick, already having, you know, we're already not in the best health. They're, they're, if they're living in a high populated area with a lot of electricity, a lot of electronics, they're, they're going to get hit, you know, continuously, you know. Uh, so let's keep it flowing. Back to yeah, where you at? Where you at? Boom. So this is a snapshot of what they call oxidation. Oxidation is exactly when you cut an apple or you cut a banana or you cut a fruit and it starts to change colors. You know, it starts to go bad, we call it. It starts to go bad because uh, the oxidation stress and is wide, wide open. Or the, uh, if you in, in the, the knowledge of uh, her hermetics, the hermetic seal was breaking broken no air can get through hermetically sealed like our bodies are hermetically sealed uh once you break the the seal or the skin is then open to oxidation and then it starts trying to heal itself start healing so our body does the fruits don't have that necessarily capability but ox oxidation is something that the 5g radiation is causing more of oxidation your body has a balance between oxidation and antioxidants both of these are very important, but it has to have a balance. But now, with the level of uh, 5G, you're having more oxidation. So your body is being torn and being corrupted faster than it's being able to rejuvenate because it's not getting a break 
from this, these technologies, from this 5G, faster, everything technology. And your body has to have the balance of antioxidants. As I say, again, a balance of antioxidants, not enough antioxidants. And there's a number of ways to get more antioxidants. And we'll talk about that, all the solutions at the end. Um, so again, let's put a pin in it. So your body needs more antioxidants. Remember that. Let's see it right here. Right here. Right there. Right here. Yeah, yeah. Reporter for WSAZ. That's the NBC. She was about to do a live appeal. Somebody got a question? I do. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, all right. So this is a uh, very short um, brain waves. Your brain waves. Your neurology. Oh, the brain. Right, let me go ahead. Oh, I'm okay. Yeah, you know that's why TV for it. So good. All right. So your brain waves quickly. Your body goes through a number of different brain waves, oscillation simultaneously, and um, while you're moving. So you got beta, you got alpha, theta, this SRM, um, and these uh, delta. I think we talked about in the last call too. Um, when you're sleeping you go into these phases too. Uh, deep relaxation, you get in the theta. That's like a dream state, meditation, imagery. And then later on, you get, later on, you get in that deep sleep, that you know, dreamless sleep where you just, it's black, you know, and you, you're in that good sleep. <laughs> and so you went straight to Delta. I kind of do that too. But um, uh, when you're waking in the Delta Beta, these are waves that are picked up by your frontal lobe and other part of lobes too, but you, um, your frontal lobe picks up uh, these waves um, like as a kid, I will even sometime now when I would turn on the frequency, when I turn on the radio, I would be humming a song in my head, you know, getting off the bus, no jamming, you know, poison. Mm, 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 mm. And I get home, put on the radio and that's the exact same song that's rocking on the radio. Cause our body is able to, you know, with our frontal lobe to pick up on radio frequencies as well. You know, we just have to, you know, I wasn't consciously that I was doing that, but I do remember a number of times just thinking it was a coincidence this is what was happening. Our body are naturally able to pick up on these frequencies, but now these frequencies are being, again, trampled upon uh, by things like 5G networks that are ramping up. And a quick shot on that, because we have uh, the Verizon, uh, T, not T-Mobile, oh, AT&T, the yeah, Verizon and AT&T. Just, just, just like this uh, this year, January, launched their um, 5G network. And they already talking about how it's, um, it's interfering with uh, planes, airplane and aviation right now. They actually are delaying it a little bit. Yeah, Verizon delayed the 5G launch. Uh, near airplanes, other everywhere else, they lost it. It's gone, and this is January eighteenth. This one was published. Uh, this delayed launch, but I think it was late uh, launched in like the sixth. Um, but they just launched this new technology, which is going to accelerate the illness of anybody who's near a tower. You know, I know people who um like got houses like right by or the right side of projects that had like the big towers right there. Everybody's around that's going to get smacked. Everybody ain't no way around it because you can you sleep in it. Your, your, your senses are down, your defenses are down constantly. If you were, you did have some up, we ain't got to go into that. But just if you want to look into that, check out. Um, they just launched this joint, uh, Mint Fields Independence Aviation. Yeah, just acting out planes, stuff like that now. All right, moving forward, then we can start rocking the solution, but we can go deeper into a number of other things, but um. There are solutions, you know, we are always got to come with solutions. You definitely can never talk about, you know, things that are, that are going haywire without some solutions, right? Always got to have solutions. All right, so I'm going to give you a quick thing too. Like I said earlier, and again, we can go deeper into any, any of the spaces, but I was saying that each day has its own frequency. And these are something I've been listening to have for years now. Um, each day has a frequency. The heart on Friday has a frequency. Um, can you see this? I think so. 
hear that. We're not going to listen to all of them, but each day has a frequency that you can tune into to, again, amplify your field. Because you, you, it's kind of like leaving the leaving home with your wardrobe. You got it's like it's a war going on out here, and most don't know it. It's invisible, you know, on some parts of it. Some parts is very visible, but you want to have your wardrobe on. You got to again have the frequencies in your ear because this is one of the solutions early. Have have the frequencies in your ear. You can wear the colors of the day, which just sounds it might sound like it's not doing nothing, but everything everything has a frequency. Everything has a vibe, and. I can I'll send you this link as well. It's to one of my uh, one of my other companies that I work with, um, Secret Energy, where we have a calendar basically for every day. Today is Thursday, and to resonate what we talked about earlier, the the Van Allen belt or the planet or the Earth, uh, that same again these same belts that we discussed earlier, electromagnetic fields given from the planet. To resonate with this, to resonate with the ones that your body gives off naturally, this full spectrum of light. Yeah. And again, this also goes into the chakra systems as well. For those who wear that space, we have uh, chakras. All these are colors and vibrations. And each day has its resonant vibration. So you, what you can do, again, we talk about more solutions, is wear the colors of that day. This is like royal blue, light blue, and lilac. Uh, yellow sapphire. If you have some yellow sapphire, I got some on me right now, just for the resonance. Uh, tin is the metal component. Uh, herbs. You can drink herbs or teas that are resonant with that day, which will amplify. It's like you're going to be getting more of a boost of that frequency because you're in tune with it. It's like a, it's what we call sympathetic vibrations. So, for example... If I were to um, hum on uh, hum a note or talk, ooh, 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 ooh. if you were here, you would see that just by me singing this note, singing a note ooh, near this guitar, it starts to echo. It picks up on um, on the vibrations because it's naturally in harmony with it, so it automatically find harmony or vibrate um it's like laughing you know just to make it simple if you start laughing right now and just start you know anybody beside you or even looking at you or us will start laughing too it's called sympathetic vibrations it's in resonance because you're in resonance everything else will find harmony with you or you will be in harmony with everything else and doing that simple ways checking this calendar Checking the calendar right here. So even um, planets, you know, it's the sun and the moon is not the only ones that give off, uh, you know, frequencies that, you know, that we can feel. Jupiter is, what, 24 times bigger than the Earth or something like that. Um, but it gives off a frequency that we can feel here on our planet as well. So Jupiter is also in resonance with Thursday. Um, Thursday, uh, so, uh, you know, with, that's Buddha Day. is a happy, joyous Jupiter um, there's actually yeah, not to get too deep into it. Um, but yeah, so the next one is the throat chakra is the one that will be most influenced today. They are areas and territories that give off more harmonic energy each day. So you have the mountains, the rivers and springs on Thursday. And that's place if you, you're near a mountain, river, a spring, go check it out. Thursday will be a great day to do it. any day, really. But those days, this, the energy will just be more potent. And we're not going to go through everything on here. Um, there's a number of things that can connect you to it, even anatomy parts that are most optimally functioning um, on today, uh, on each day, every every day. So moods, symbols, a uh, number of things on it, zodiac signs, uh, animals, you know, seeing animals of these days. It's a number of things that can keep you in resonance. Minerals, that's what I wanted to get to. Minerals, um, because each, I have it up. Again, everything has frequency. I can't get over this enough. Everything has sound. Everything has frequencies. And so crystals, talking about more solutions here, crystals give off natural frequencies as well. They're from the earth, deep into the earth. Crystals give off the elements. And every crystal is made up of different elements and frequencies uh, or elements uh, that are naturally in your body. 
Like if we'll give an example right here. Tiger's Eye, one of my favorites. I got some more right now. Uh, Tiger's Eye has a mineral called silica. Silica is one of the of the um, the uh, minerals that uh, and the elements that help your nails grow, your hairs grow, your eye, eyelashes grow, your hair grow, your nails grow. Um, even help your body breaks down um, ulcers and things of that nature. It actually, is most potent um, between the month of uh, November and December. Uh, is being produced in the mother's womb if you're pregnant. These are all you know, things, again, that let you know everything is vibration and frequencies. And if you understand yourself, understand your body and how it operates and what's connected to it, you're more likely to survive this type of um, attack. You, you will survive. Knowledge is part of the power, but action, you know, because wisdom is wisdom, no, sorry, wisdom is knowledge in action. You know, you can know a lot of stuff, but if you ain't using it, it ain't doing nothing but sitting on your front porch. So let's keep moving. Um, let's hop into solutions because it's getting after the hour. Let's see. Let's start off with the basic solutions that you ain't got to pay for. All right, so this right here is... Um, EMF protection, which is stands for electromagnetic frequencies. You'll see EMF a lot. Um, there's actually another abbreviation. I can't think of it right now that talks about it. I think it's DOA or something like that. Uh, but electromagnetic frequencies, and we'll zoom into this a bit more. So again, as we know, all these things around our house gives off these electromagnetic frequencies that pretty much make us sick. And I know Sister Janine jumped in a bit uh, after, but we're saying that the symptoms for now, make sure I cover it. Uh, the symptoms for uh, 5G are the same as the symptoms of the variants that they're, they're claiming is everywhere. And making sure we get a good eye on that. And that takes us, again, headaches, dizziness, sore stomach, nausea, uh, tremors, muscle spasms, anxiety, uh, difficulty concentrating, memory loss, hair loss, uh, hearing loss, not hair loss. I don't think that, yeah, yeah hair loss too. <laughs> Uh, leukemia, dehydration, uh, inflamed uh, sinuses, chest pain, pressure, all of these are because your body's natural frequencies that we went over earlier is, uh, is being disrupted on a, in a major way and unceasingly. I mean, it's not stopping. It's continuously on all the time. Your Wi-Fi never goes off uh, if you're connected to the 5G. Um, and these things are now being um, amplify. So where was I? I was at the frequency. Where you go, where you go, where you go, go, go. Right here. There you go. All right. So right here. Let's zoom in a bit more. So all these things are just a few of the things that pump off these electromagnetic uh, disharmonic frequencies in the house. Cell phones, TVs, just remote controls, um, Wi-Fi, microwave, uh, lighting, electronic wiring, uh, smart meters, smart meters. We just got our smart meter removed from the house uh, about a week ago because, again, it was it was making us ill. And I didn't realize that I was home one day, had the door open, had the windows down, and I seen the cat come came from beside the house from the back of the house and he had you know, the, the dominion ng um, uh uniform like what are you doing what are you doing behind the house like what's like what's up and he was like you know i'm just uh <laughs> checking the uh upgrading you say upgrading upgrading your your uh meters to smart meters and i was like well i didn't ask for that we didn't sign for anything like that um we don't want it you know we already know about 5g and so he was like, well, y'all have to give it on. We had to do the whole neighborhood. We got to do at least 100 and something today. And he was like, he's going about his business. And so he didn't remove it right then. And but Danielle told me we asked to receive a letter in the mail like a month or so previously saying that they were going to do it. I didn't see it. So I ended up calling the company, asking the company, you know, what we don't want this uh, 5G thing. We don't, we don't want it. You know, gave them a bit of smoke and they gave me the option to opt out. And uh, it's a form. I got the form in my email. Uh, I can send it to you. 
that uh, you can, it's a smart meter opt out form. And they were saying on the phone that I have to pay $160 for them to remove it, plus an extra $15 a month for them to send somebody out to read my meter manually. I didn't ask for this shit. I am not doing it. I don't want it. I'm not paying that for something I didn't ask for. So I was a little irate. So um, there's like the only way you can avoid this is to get a medical waiver. And I'm like, a medical waiver? Okay, so um, I was I already knew the symptoms of 5G previously, so I was telling them how we couldn't sleep. We was having insomnia, we was having anxiety. Um, we have a frequency that's on all night. We can't rest with this. We're having headaches, we're feeling ill, and that's when kind of everybody around the school was getting ill as well. That was another line state. Um, previously, they lost the smart meters in, in the house, um, in the neighborhoods. And so I had to get a, a holistic doctor it's out in West Columbia and sat with him after getting an appointment, which took about you know, a, three weeks to a month. And he was already aware of the, the damage of uh, 5G radiation. So he was a young cat. He, he's like, yeah, I did research on you know, the effects of 5G. So he already knew what was up. And I was like, OK, word. It's dope. It's the easy sign off. And then he goes to ask me for a um, blood sample. I never gave blood. I don't plan to give blood. And so I said, you know, well, my religious practices, though, my, my spiritual practices, um, our elders have to uh, give say so of when we're giving blood. And they have to, you know, because it, it's a, uh, we only give it unless our, our elders are in need of some kind of blood transfusion or something else traumatic has happened. And I would have to talk to the council before I can do that. So he was like, all right, we can do it. Um, well, once you talk to them, then you can come back. And, you know, I was like, well, they're probably not going to give the say so of, you know, just to g give blood just because a power company wants me to do it, you know, and I, or to make this happen. And that's probably won't happen. That probably won't happen. So after getting back and forth from him, he was like, uh, OK, I honor your religious practices and what y'all believe. Um, I'll sign off on it. And that was it. So he sent that to me in email form. I sent that to Dominion Energy opt out department. And then they um, set a date for it to be removed. They finally came out and removed it last week. Immediately when they removed it, I felt like a, a, a fog lift from the house. Like this, like a, a thin blanket, you know, was, it's kind of like when you feel, if you feel, um, like after the TV has been around, the TV's there now, but you would feel like the static on the TV, like that, when you go back and I don't know if it does it anymore, but you would feel the, the static on the TV after it's been playing. Uh, it was like that. It's as light as that, that little, little frequency that that was, on the house for like six, seven weeks. And so it's now gone. Another solution. Uh, power line companies, if you're near those, um, health risks, anxiety, depression, uh, fatigue, uh, heart problems, leukemia, cancer, because again, it's radiation poisoning. Uh, how to reduce these things at home? Uh, put a barrier between your laptop and your actual lap. And they put a, a cloth in between there, something to break the electric gap there. So it does not, it's not transferring into body as much. We definitely, they do have grounding mats. They're called grounding mats uh, for electronic devices. So your body doesn't conduct it because you already know, again, our bodies conduct uh, electricity. And this is just like when you, maybe like outside playing or walking in your socks, um, at home and you touch the doorknob and you shot, you, you feel a little, you know, or you on a trampoline and you, know, you jump, you get your body conducts naturally electricity. You can do a lot of stuff. We can get into all, how much we can do right now on this call, but we need to keep moving. Uh, also avoid Bluetooth headphones directly saturated with these inharmonic frequencies with the body. It's going right into your head, right across. They're making those connections. There's like sound. If you are in, um, if you're in a car and the loud sound is, or you're outside of a car and loud sounds come from in the car, the sound, you can hear the sound outside of the car. The sound penetrates walls. So these frequencies penetrate your body and they affect you in a number of ways. Uh, we've seen some of the ways. Um, now keep your mobile phone away from your body. When you're talking on it, some people get on my nerve. I put my phone on speakerphone. You're like, what's the echo? It, it's better for my body. I don't want it on my face. You know, I put it on speakerphone and, you know, talk from a distance or I hold it away from my face as much as I can um, just to create that, that space 
of so I'm less affected by it being right smack there on my head, you know? Next, put a limit on your phone. You get a timer on your phone. You tell it when to go to sleep. Tell it when to go on airplane mode. You know, everybody don't need to be calling you at three o'clock in the morning. You know, it's not going to be a disaster or, you know, anything going on crazy. Just, just turn it off. Trust that you will pick up those other frequencies that need to be communicated to you if it was serious with some of your other natural body, you know, abilities to communicate. Intuition is strong. You know, you'll, wake you, you'll wake you up out of, out of cold sleep, you know, if, it, if, you need, if you're needed. Uh, trust you. Yeah, means they trust you. All right, next one, home protection. Um, keep the bed clear of devices. This is a very hard thing. You know, last night was my first time. Actually, no, not first time. But you now I put my phone in the closet, you know, in my, so I would have to get up to turn the alarm off. <laughs> no, that helps you on, on the snooze path, the snooze button too. You don't hit it as many times. You got to get up. You're all ready to turn the thing off. Um, unplug some stuff. Put it, give some distance between these things in your actual bed. You will sleep a whole lot better. Trust me. Um, avoid these type of lights, these lights here. Uh, unplug appliances. Uh, turn off the Wi-Fi at night. Nobody's using it. You know, just unplug it. Plug it back up, you know, when you're about to use it, you know. So, again, because you these things are being, they're saturating everywhere. They're just, you're just kind of in the, in the fog. And the thick of it, you know, you're in it. But when you turn it off, it goes down. It gives your body more time to relax because your body is picking up on everything. You know, you may not be cognitively, cognitively or consciously aware of what's going on, but just picking up on it. Uh, and natural detoxes, uh, going bare feet on nature. You know, just going outside, take them socks off, go out there, you know, plant your feet in the dirt. You know, get you a bucket of it. <laughs> put your foot on top of your feet. Um, eating foods detox. There's a number of foods that are uh, high in, and we talked about earlier, antioxidants. Uh, keep plants that absorb radiation. You know, Danielle has been collecting all kinds. I think we probably get about 10 plants uh, every, every two weeks. <laughs> That's what it feel like. <laughs> but, um, these plants are beneficial, especially those who absorb radiation you need these like your best friends these are our brothers and sisters uh elders you know these plants they've been around for a while so they know how to balance the planet out you know, the planet is like okay we need this to be grown and it does so grab those things that are right in the house um you no know, all right go to lowe's or do some research online seeing like what plants absorb radiation put it by your office if you're in an office that has you know these type of frequencies uh you know, think, uh, yeah, these happen institutions. Get you some big plants, big ass plants, if you're going to be in there. Um, uh, check for pollution in your neighborhood. You know, that's where these towers are. You know, um, so that's that's part of solutions right there. Uh, the next solutions, I actually create, uh, we talked about nature, you know, being, you know, getting out there. If you garden, hey, that's a great way to detox. The, the earth will naturally aid you in regulating your body frequency. So if you're out there barefoot, barefoot farming, you know, that sounds even more fun. Uh, growing, connect, getting this relationship, giving your body more conductivity of this electromagnetic fields that are already naturally your inheritance. You know, you just have to tap into it a bit more. Let's keep going. What is that right there? We talked about that. That's uh, oxidation stress your cells go through. It went that too. Make sure I'm hitting all the points. We did that's something else. Uh, that that's a little bit more advanced. We talk about that another day. Uh, we talk about um, organ. So I create something called organ. Where you at, my friend? Where you at? Where you at? at, at, at? I can find someone here. Uh, EMF protection. Organ pyramid. Sure. I make organ pyramids. Some of you might have seen in a couple of years ago, we made some at the school with the kids. Um, we had about three. Each, each class made their own you know, for their classroom. And these organ pyramids are filled with crystals, um, metals that are all, well, they, when they when made correctly, they uh they generate a, uh, a powerful of, of its own magnetic field. And you see the geometry. My ancestors didn't know this. You see the, the pyramids here. The pyramids are nat naturally uh, engineered to boost the, uh, the um, ionization 
of the planet. And it really uh, traps what they call organ energy or orgasmic energy. This is all powerful things that we already, you know, that we've been doing for hundreds of thousands of years. And we've known this. And again, I make these right here. Well, these aren't mine, but I make these consistently. I actually got to make, I made a big one in, um, in North, North Springs, not North Springs, North, uh, North Main Park. I just took it down last year. It was there for about three years. It was about three feet tall. And you know, I just had it sitting there because, you know, it was, it was an art project. And it's my first one of that, that, uh, that, that size. I'm actually going to make another one in, in Tennessee in a couple of weeks. Um, keep it moving. And I want to show you what one more quick video of how how we know it works. A lot of people talk about these things, you know, and, you know, they don't always uh, they, they just be they just talk. So let me give you. Let's cut straight through this. So so this cut through this video, let me share it properly. Uh, make sure the sound is showing. There it is. Uh, so this is one I made about two years ago for RJ, and it was connected to his um, his birthday, his birth, uh, his uh, his math. We have really bad that, and I made it about two years ago. Uh, he was having some bad dreams. He had some issues sleeping. So this is one attack that was used to put under his bed or beside his bed that allowed him to get a better rest that night, and it worked. You know, um, so. Play. into a, a, a mode and I added a bit of dye to it and as you can see here the form is lifted in the center this uh, cone subject here so it tells you that the water was then rising up in a still form you see it there the tip there as you can see the pyramid gave the a cone shaped vortex under it, but you can see it froze in the center as it was coming up here. Will not be televised, will not be televised, will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be no rerun. We're coming for you. Yeah, so um, the, the organ pyramid, it creates a vortex under it. Again, we can't see these things, but that connecting with the water on the bottom, if you've seen, I put, uh, put water in a, a, a bowl or a, a silicone mold, and then I put the organ in the freezer on top of it. And after a couple of hours, this is the rotation that it's naturally making. I'm not doing anything, but the, the geometry of the pyramid mimics um Mimics the ability to, to, to pull water up. And this actually, again, when we go deeper into this, maybe on another day, but um, under the pyramids of Giza and many other, other pyramids, um, they used to be aquifers, they're called. Um, that used to be water under the pyramid. Let me see if I can find a quick image for you. Um, spelling it correctly. My spelling is running up preferred. I know that's not spelled right. I hope we get a spell check there. Aquifer, yeah. pH, not pH. Okay. So to talk about the uh, the deserts in Egypt wasn't always a desert. Yeah, know you said know where you came from, so you know where you're going. They said it wasn't always a desert. There was actually water current running under it, and they were actually aquifers that ran the Nile River uh, flowed under the pyramids as well as on top. And it used to be a fertile place. You'll see a lot of ancient texts would talk about the fertile parts of the Nile. Uh, and this was also around these spaces. But after um, after there's been no ransack, uh, again, it was turned down. So what does to keep it short and how these things operate? Um, if you make a, keep it simple. If you build, uh, let's say if 
if uh, if Ye Ye, you know, had uh, if Ye, we all know Ye Ye and who Ye Ye is to be, what Ye Ye means, how the, the energy she would carry, um, this is how she talks, how she carries what she does. If we made a statue of Ye Ye just like Ye Ye, the same energy would also be referenced for the statue. Like we would, we would remember her, that energy. And based on the same geometry of the pyramid, anytime it's made with those same parameters, it mimics that same image energy just on a smaller scale. So the same thing they would make the, the geometry of the pyramids also be found when you make uh, smaller pyramids made in the same geometry, just scale down. And so that's, again, part of the technology that we've always had. We have these measurements, we have the knowledge, we just gotta put these things into action. Um, um, I can talk about this for quite some time and dive in and bring even more content and about you know how we, we connect to this thing, but I'm gonna pause it here and save a little bit more for the next time we talk or any questions that we may have on the topic. And um, again, I make organ pyramids, organ necklaces, um, all these things are, are used to give you the energy, will help amplify your own magnetic field. This is actually one from Egypt. Um, crystals that you can carry around that are protect you from EMF radiation, allow your body to get back in resonance again. All right, so I'm going to stop it there. I give thanks for you listening, participating, and uh, and just having an ears to hear. I appreciate you. Um, any questions, please ask, you know, let it download, you know, let it, you know, if you need to let it rest for a while to come back another day, that's fine too. But um Please unmute your mics when you when you feel and um, let it flow. So give thanks. All right. I don't have a question, more of a comment. I was late, but the information that I heard was great. And I look forward to um, hearing the next, especially talking about the plants, because I know more recently me and the girls have gotten into um, the... Um, like filling the house with plants and taking care of more of the plants. And so I wanted to figure out, like, I want to be more strategic mm. or you know, deliberate in what we're getting, because I know some of them were gifts and we kind of start like that gave us some gifts and we were, you know, the girls were um, more so naming them after like the ancestors and their mm. grandparents and, and doing that. And so now this gives us another reason to really kind of look at some things to incorporate. So I truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks to then that tuning in. That's amazing. Yeah. I, I, we kind of, it's so many natural ways that we can better our health. Oh, that's, I'm sorry. I forgot. It's one more thing uh, I'm going to share in the chat. I'm going to share the link. I'm going to share and I need you to copy and paste it. Shanine, uh, um, aloe vera, Snake plants and rubber plants are real good for it. Those are some of the common ones. Um, I was looking IV, up. Yeah, IV. I was looking up that. Yeah. Okay. I was, doing it. I was looking it up while he was talking, and I saw nice. that one of the plants we got was a. Um, you know, we did get a snake plant or whatever, but we only have one, and it's actually one of the smaller, um, smaller ones. So I definitely will be going back looking at those. I think those should be pretty easy to find in this area. That and the, yeah. um, mm -hmm. like you said, the aloe vera and maybe the ivy ones. I think those should be fairly easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just saw some ivy actually in Lowe's food on the Sand Hills on sale for three ninety nine. I looked at it. I didn't get it. Oh, but now nice. I'm going back to get it. Sweet. <laughs> hey, listen, you may see me. <laughs> <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling much better. Good. I am. You so sound much. good. Thank you. Thank you. So, and I appreciate you, um, y'all checking me in and even this information, you know, we've been definitely trying to find something else so that we're not getting hit every single time this thing comes around, you know? Right. 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 Oh, no. Why is it not letting me share it? Oh, okay. Hmm. Like text. Okay. No, it's not letting me share it. I'll let you share I'll drop it in the, um, who chat but quickly right there i think Sine was saying danielle was saying these are plants that um absorb radiation again you can uh google these, google or just search these things uh, snake plant like she was saying uh spider plant uh beta plant uh why did not let me let me see if it let me share this okay 
Whatever. You know why it's not letting you share, Brother Curtis. Right. I got a number of junk sitting here. <laughs> right. Exactly. Like, what's up? What's going on here? Copy links. That's crazy. Okay, let's do another one. But okay, so I'll pull up this uh, link here. So these are things, supplements that you can take that are we've tested, we've tried, we've ordered it, we talked to um, uh, the companies on the back end to see if they're legit and what they do. So all of these are great for uh, amplifying your body. So if you you have supplements already, awesome. Just so match them up with these, or in the see. I'll, I'll see if I can get it from there. I'll keep it. Can I, can I, can I copy that? Can I copy that? Can I copy that? I'll just, I'll send this whole thing as soon as I can actually copy link. Maybe something now, maybe. That's only one now. I'll, I'll figure some way to get it. Uh, I'll probably just have to click through all of these, go to the page. Yeah, I'll probably have to go to each one of these and create another form and drop it to you uh, in the Hulu chat. But these are things that give you your body, give your body the, the tool it needs to heal from the inside and uh, not be cut up. You know, <laughs> you know, you, you get these things on a daily and daily regimen and uh, you can get these things. So like, for example, I just click one of them. What is that? Come on, come on. This one we use often with the kids. I'm gonna just have to type this thing in. So this is tastes really good, and they're um, they pr they're a pretty legit company. It's called Mary Ruth. They give um, they have great liquid vitamins, and it's great for the kids to have. I love it too. Uh, they're vegan, plant-based, uh, no tests, no animals, uh, elderberry, zinc. We know we love our elderberry. Uh, zinc is a great fighter of these things. Can't wait till watermelon season comes. Uh, the rind has a lot of uh, zinc in it too. A, B, C, D, 3, E, K, 2. Uh, the, the focus energy is great. Even on the babies, the old how I love this one. So um, it's a great one to, to have. So just, I think I can drop this. Yeah. They sell that one in Garner's Natural Life too. Word. Love this one. This thing is nice. It's cheaper than gardens. Word. Cheaper than this? Yeah. I mean, about like $5. It's $39.99. That'll work. Uh, nighttime liquid vitamins. Um, so we check out um, most of our diets, just Americans, are, are, uh, are lacking magnesium, or deficient, actually, in magnesium. It leads to a lot of things because they used to be a part of our, uh, a big part of our soil for natural farming and a big part of like heavy greens, uh, the collars, the mustards, the, you know, uh, all the heavy greens. They were um, a part of every meal. We used to have greens on every meal back in the day. Now it's not so much. So our bodies are suffering from a lot of magnesium deficiency. So just getting magnesium is a great way to um, get your body boosted too. And it's a nighttime one for Mary Ruth. But I'll drop this whole link in not, not to go over all of these, but they, um, there's some great, great, great. And some things are a little more expensive than others. But again, invest in yourself. Um, you're worth it. Know that you're worth it and know that you're getting um, you're intentionally boosting your body's immunity. Uh, and you know what you're doing. You know why you're doing it. And you know if you let up, we're going to let the boogeyman get in. You know, so you got to be mindful like every day now. Again, these 5G has launched, it, it's out here, you know. So these bombarded, bombarding of frequencies, you know, this harmonic to our natural body resonance is going to continue to get smacked. So we got to, again, wear, consciously wear in jewelry, you know, that aids us in you know, keeping the resonance. Danielle makes a number of frequency bracelets, I mean, crystal bracelets. Um, uh, but you want to be always aware that, hey, I got to what, what do I have on the day that help me out there? Because and again, if, and if you have the smart meter at, at your house to call your company and ask them that they upgrade you with the smart meter and let them know you want to opt out because you're feeling the symptoms of the radiation. 
and they'll send you to the opt out people. Well, I can just drop the opt out people with um, a list to you uh, with the numbers and the forms and everything. And you can, like, I'll even drop the holistic doctor that we went to and let them know if they ask any questions. You're all from the same tribe. You know, we natives, one of those natives from the, we natives from, from, um, from the land, we Native Americans, you know, we, we here. And he was like, yeah, okay, I understand. You look just like him. You know, he, he did his research. It's funny. But yes, stop talking. Any questions? Any questions? Before we tap out in that. Cool, cool, cool. And I do my best to um, edit this and get it uh, posted. So if you never need a review, you can go click the link. And you now if you want to share it with somebody else too, Share with them, let them know what's up, and uh, give them some solutions. You know, don't give them all the bad news. And let them know we got some solutions here. Um, yeah. Hey, quick, quick, quick question. I do got a question. What's up, bro? All right. So, are um, are there any like uh, I, you said that there's there's plants? You know, look up those as far as uh, being able to like uh, protect you from the antioxidants, be able to protect you from the uh 5g but are there is there any like you know oils or creams that do this do that as well or is it only through you know through the diet um that you can you you can uh, achieve that but uh, again are there any are there any creams or oils that do the same as well i'm trying to get protected as much as possible and the reason why i say that is because I almost passed out in my job um, and I didn't realize why. And so, but now that you're saying about the 5G, my, my, um, the, the office that I'm at, they like recently upgraded with 5G, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm in there by myself about to pass out and I couldn't even talk. And mm. I didn't know why, but now that you, now that you say that, I'm like, dang, that, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So what, you know, uh, I, I got, I got a, um, I got one of the the necklaces that you that you made, right? I don't wear it all the time, but mm -hmm. now that I know what it is, yeah, like what what can we what can I do to kind of like make sure that it's I, I'm um suited and booted, you know what I'm saying? I, I got everything that you got here um mm -hmm. you know that you put tonight. I, I, I jotted that down, but is there any are there any is there anything else that I'm missing? Cool, cool. Great question, bro. Yeah, and again, it, it's like yeah. I'm glad you again. We had that the conversation tonight, and they was able to tune in because it is serious, man. It's serious, you know that it ain't fun, you know, when your body you feel like your body's like failing you, but it ain't like your body. It's, it's not. It's not you, you know. I'm like, I'm, if you're working out, I think I'm pretty decent. I got a pretty healthy diet. Like, what's up with me? You think it's like you? Like, nah, it's what they pumping out there. And um, yeah, so yeah, put the necklace on. Uh, you can grab some crystals. Um, but one of the ones that actually funny, I just found out one today, um, CBD oil, the cannabinoids and CBD oil. Um, also, if, you, if you're wearing it, it def it also helps you out too. It's a big one. I actually had a brother who was doing, uh, his name is uh, Bobby Toons. He was doing continuous um, uh, presentations on CBD and cannabinoids and what it can do for your body. And they took his page down on um, on uh, on Facebook, YouTube, and um, they uh, demonetized his YouTube videos. So he couldn't receive money, and they wiped all his uh, subscribers and stuff like that. But CBD oil is a great oil too to do that too. And any of those plants that are in resonance with the day also helps boost the antioxidants level because you get you reminding yourself of the frequency. So that same thing I gave you. I showed earlier, I drop it in, I'll drop it in the chat again. Uh, the secret energy right here. So like today, uh, the herbs of today that are most resonant today are bergamot, cinnamon, and sage. So if you have some sage oil, some bergamot oil that will assist on today, most potently. I'm gonna say tomorrow, let me drop this in the chat. How is going? So tomorrow, Friday, and we got one for every day. So tomorrow we'll give you a different oil 
for your for your body so you're reminding your body what it feels like to be perfect or reminding you of the pitch like you got to get back in pitch like get back in key we in the key of, we in the key of f today you know it's just um yeah, so you can see going back to it it's friday 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 yeah. Friday herbs to the Palo Santo. We got we sell Palo Santo too. You burn it um, by benzoin. This is another one we fell in love with. Uh, you know, at the house we burn this one. Uh, but if you can grab some oils, that'd be great too. Royal Rose has oils too. Um, so if you want to go through each day and just grab at least one of those categories of herbs and they'll rock those out and they'll put it on your shirt no put it if you start feeling lightheaded no put it on your hand you just sniff it no go outside get some fresh air um uh and grab you some fresh fruit and also okay one more thing one more thing but again it's, you gotta hit this thing on all levels uh it's a cat named uh rife is uh f r f r r i f e Way back when, um, like I forgot what year, um, maybe 1800s, 18, like late, early 1900s, um, more people were aware of this knowledge, you know, frequencies in the body. It just, the small group began to use that in a negative way. You know, we can, you know, brainwash these people. We can make them ill and then sell them medicine. You know, if we, you know, we can, we can get rich, you know, we know this, the, how the body operates and do something that the, the, to make them ill, they'll make ill profit on it. This is a guy, he used the frequencies to create, to generate uh, sounds, uh, pitches that that defends you against um, something that's not harmonic. So I'm gonna drop that link in there too. And so you can go on that page of rife frequencies, rife, uh, where is it right here? So rife. And so this is one, let me go to rife frequencies. And if you can stand some of the, some of the frequencies are high, but they have the frequencies for each um, ailment. So abdominal pains, ADHD, they got AIDS on here, you know, and you know, you try them, you know, well, if you find your uh, dis-ease, your, your body's not at ease, and you're not chilling no more, you're, you're actually fighting something, you can grab, try one of these frequencies, confusion, um, or they have radiation poison. That's when I was at earlier. I just I started listening to that on a, on a daily now. Um, I'm gonna have one just for, to uh, bump up immunity. Uh, do, 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 I, 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 I. Again, any one of these things. You know, let me see. Let me see. I, I, come on. Let me ask. Immune immune disease uh, infections. Yeah, inflammation. Mm, let me just grab um, immune booster. Right. And you can grab these and just listen to it. You know, I wouldn't say put on Bluetooth headphones because that'd be kind of going going <laughs> beside the facts. But you know, put on a blue, put on a speaker, um, put on your phone, just let it play. And you know, it ain't it ain't no uh, it ain't no Whitney Houston, but you know, it's healing. Let's see. And these frequencies tell your brain or your body parts, hey, you no, know, this the this is where you need to be. This is where you need to be to be to create more antioxidants. This is where you need to be to balance that uh, the oxidation level. This is where you need to be to base the alkalinity. This is where you need to be to be in harmony with nature. And it's a 20 minute one. I'll let it play. So I'll share that I'll share that website as well. I'll share that website as well, but just listen to it and it, your brain and your body will do the rest. You, know, you may, again, it, it's not Luther Vandross, you know, but, you know, it's assisting your body in finding its resonance, especially in these times. So if you got, you know, you had the office, man, you on the computer or whatever, you know, get that thing pumping until somebody say, hey, can you turn that down? Then you just turn it down a little bit, you know, they don't know it's helping them, but, you know. You might tell them they might even like it. Well, I, I like that. You know, let me get that. Let me get track number seven. Let me get that um, immunity booster again. Let me run that back. <laughs> we're going to change the culture as we become a culture of healing. Yeah, we got solutions after solutions after solutions. And uh, yeah, let me drop that link real quick. 
No, I definitely will try that. I appreciate that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, no doubt. Again, so I do um, 101s um, also, if you want something specifically dialed in or specifically even made for you, we can jump on a call, do a Zoom call, break down some things, or we can link up um, any space because, again, we family, you know, and if we can't help family, you know, we, why are we here, you know, so don't be, don't hold back, don't hesitate, you know, you're feeling something, yo, I'm, I'm dealing with this, What's, what, do you know any remedies? I got you, and I'll do my best to find those remedies, no matter, matter what it be, physically, mentally, spiritually, this is one of the things I love doing, it's one of my passions, so... I'm one of your resources. Can you do me a favor and uh, drop your cash app in the um, <clears throat> in the chat just in case mm -hmm. you know, we want to give like a small donation for this information because I know that this is valuable. So we appreciate your time and your patience. So if you could, I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you, Sister Janine. Much love. I'll drop it in the... Um who will chat and I'll put it in the uh, in the chat too. Now, any more questions? Don't let let it fly. Sending much love. You know this is um like I said this is definitely potent information. And uh, again, it's stuff that we can get through our kids easy. You know we don't have to even even just having the knowledge that we don't have to cut people up to you know really heal them. We can just sing them this is actually what culture back in the day you no know, Kemet you, you know they were like all oh, black people can sing well our ancestors used to sing ourselves to healing you know we just be you know singing to each other You're like Yo, what's wrong and then they sang the baby or sang to the to your spouse sang to your friend because we had that knowledge to know you know what frequency you need right now like you you seem a little upset hold on let me <clears throat> just sing a song you know and bring that resonance so yeah, if there's not any more questions, you know, have a great night. Remember to unplug, like turn the Wi-Fi off. You know, you can put the phone as far away from you as you can, you know, put it on airplane mode or something like that. Your body will definitely appreciate it and you'll get more rejuvenative rest. So yeah. Will not be televised. Will not be televised. The revolution will be no rerun, brothers. The revolution will be no rerun. Hey, yo, 5G. We're coming for you.